there, anime fans! Hi, anime fans! How are you? My name is Seth, and I love Disney and anime and pins! Woo! Hello, Seth! What's going on? Well, today is my anime expo haul! Woo! Anime expo haul! Anime Expo is an anime convention that's held over the July 4th weekend every year in Los Angeles. Ooh, not just any convention. The largest anime convention in North America. Woo! Yeah, it's crazy. Crazy. Oh my gosh. They sell way too many tickets. Oh yes. If you uh, if go and take a look at some footage, I don't know if you'll have some in this video, but it was P-A-C-K-E-D. Packed. Oh. Thank God, I don't know how to spell. <laughs> okay. okay. I was just making sure just <laughs> Just to give you a little bit of context, the lines were so bad. Oh yeah. The line to get into the building and the line to get into panels. Yeah. Were just so terrible. Mm -hmm. They're, they were very disorganized, not... I don't know. I don't know what is happening. It's like they forget how to run the con every year and yeah. they have to make up new rules. Day one was terrible. <laughs> it was, I mean, not as bad as some years, but this was definitely I think it was the second was. worst year. One of the second, maybe second worst year. Because the worst year was 2014, right? Uh, I don't remember exact number. That was the year that uh, the the machines broke during the registration <laughs> the line. The machines broke <laughs> at registration and you pick up your badges the day before. Literally, the line to get your badge stretched all the down way down Figueroa Street. The blocks. The, like, all the way down Figueroa Street. I mean, like, six, seven, eight blocks or something. It was crazy. Like, That so was bad. the worst year because there were no tents, so we were just standing in the sun oh, for, yeah, like, no eight hours. Lines. It's outdoors, LA heat during 4th of July summer weekend. Oh God. So this was the second worst. Yeah, this was no, not so good. Okay, so let's get on to the good stuff. Which Yay! Is what we picked up at the Anime Expo during the uh, Dealer's Hall and Artist Alley. Um, and uh, I'm gonna start with some big stuff first and then I'll get into like all the nitty gritty stuff in the bag. Ooh. Um, so on the last day, actually, I ran into this figure. Ooh! Hey, who's that guy? This is Yusuke, um, from Yu Yu Hakusho. Ooh, Yu Yu Hakusho. I wonder if people know what that is. It's uh, an oldie but a goodie. Yeah, it's a anime from 1992, and it's, uh, their 30th anniversary last year. Um, and so they started making 30th uh, anniversary figures. What's this show about? So it's um, about this high school guy named Yusuke um, and he becomes a um, demon detective or what's spirit. it? Spirit detective. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. And he hunts down demons inside the human world. Um, but, like the first five episodes. But yeah, then... <laughs> then, then they go to this dark tournament in the demon world where he has to fight really strong demons. Which we have been watching for like 45 episodes 45 now. 45 episodes yeah. now. So that's a really long arc right now that we're in and he's using his spirit gun right now. Yeah, you can see the like blue uh, orb coming out of his finger and that's his spirit energy. Mm-hmm. The Anime Expo has their own merch, and so I bought these neoprene play mats. Ooh! I'm just gonna side swipe so you can see the whole picture. Mm-hmm. Because it's not gonna fit into frame. It's not gonna fit into frame, but look at all the great details that they put in that. So that is the LA Convention Center. Yeah, and I love how there's like a lot of open space so that you can see the cards that you're Playing. Yes. Because a lot of times play mats are just like, boom, here's all the stuff. And then you can't like see the stuff you're playing on. Yeah. They're very detailed. Great art, but not for like a plain background, yeah. just so you can play your own cards and yeah. games. And so I like how there's like light blue spaces so that you can just 
play some cards on it. Mm -hmm. All right, now we're on to the bag of little goodies here. Oh. This will be in no particular order since I have no idea what I bought. This is cool. This is a blind box Ooh. of Princess Mononoke. The Studio Ghibli? The, yep, and they are uh, refrigerator magnets of uh, heads from the movie. Uh, so you, there are six options. You've got the Forest Spirit. You've got um, Ashitaka's... Um, uh, I forget what the, that's called. It's not a horse or a gazelle. Uh, a deer? No. Elk. You've got the um, princess mask. You've got the two wolves. And you've got the boar. Oh. Those are all the different kinds of spirits. Yeah. In there. So I have two of these. Um, so let's see what I get. Which one are you hoping for? Well, I'm hoping for the forest spirit, and I'm hoping for the, um, this. Ooh, the little elf one, huh? Yeah. Ashitaka's, um, oh man, I can't even think of what his name is or what he is. Ooh. But he's like, a like an elk or a... Okay, let's open the second one. Cross your fingers. Ooh, okay. You've got her little mask. Ooh, the Mononoke spirit mask. Princess Mononoke wears that as she rides around on the yep. wolf. Wolf spirit. Nice! Okay, I got some pins here. So, this is a um, little pin to match the like figure that they made of him. Um, so, this is Kuwabara from Yu Yu Hakusho. You have to say it just like Yu Yu does. Kuwabara! <laughs> and you can see he has his uh, spirit sword that he can summon with his spirit energy. Oh, yeah. Um, and then here is um, Kurama, but his name is Kurama! <laughs> <laughs> and he has like a little uh, rose whip. Rose whip! Yeah. And this is this is like a little chibi version when he, when they're in like a the the middle scene between it was like a it was like a, a scene break. between the commercial break. Yeah. <laughs> Back when they had commercials, that was a commercial break like cutscene. So from Artist Alley, we've got uh Cat Crossing. Ooh. And you've got Yusuke. Ooh, more Yusuke. And it's double-sided, so you got a, another outfit. Oh, there's Pooh on that side. Um, this little guy is named Pooh. He's not saying Pooh as in, you know, Oh. that type of Pooh. Oh, yeah. Um, not like Winnie the Pooh. Right. There is Kuwabara. <gasps> Kuwabara! With his, like, white outfit that he wears at the... End of the tournament. There's a little cat on the back. I don't know what that's for. Kuwabara has a cat he loves very much, and he's a really <laughs> tough guy with a small cat. Okay? And then here is Kurama. Ooh. But he turns into Yoko Kurama. Whoa! Fox spirit. Yoko Kurama. That's so cool. So that was a nice three, three for deal. And this is from Kitty Gorian. Uh, and this is a cute pin of Boji and Kage. So cute! You should watch Ranking of Kings. Yeah. It's so adorable. So adorable. 
Um, then I found this art on a keychain here. Wow. What is it? It is Boji. With Battle his, Boji. With his fencing sword here. Ooh, that was a nice glittery shimmer. Yeah. So I also got the vinyl sticker. Oh, vinyl sticker, vinyl sticker. But I also got, um, oh, that one is from Art by Quentin. Oh, Art by Quentin. Um, but I also got a sweatshirt with that print on it. However, it is currently being custom printed and so I do not have it with me right now. Ooh, that's so cool. Yeah. Uh, so it is a sky blue sweatshirt with this exact print on it and some Japanese letters with ranking of kings words on it. Mm. You guys are just going to have to keep watching these videos and it might pop up. Yeah. Very cute. It was very nice. That was a great find. Another great find was this one. However, I do not know the artist because they didn't have business cards. If this is you, or your art, I should say, <laughs> tag yourself below. Go, Boji! Yeah. Is this Soul Doos? Soul Doos. Soul Doos. Soul Doos. And I picked up this Hisoka. Ooh. That one's cute. Yeah. It's almost like the art style it's of very Steven Universe. Yeah. Super pastel. So that's fun. Mm -hmm. um, I need scissors for this one. Um, I don't have the artist for this one. But all the artists will be linked down below if I have them. So here is um, Hisoka. Ooh, hi Hisoka. Uh, and then also have the Oreo. The Oreo. He's rotating. <laughs> He's double-sided. There's one side. That one's cute. Oh, yeah, yeah. And he's all business on that side. This one is from Dao Soup. Dao, yeah, Dao. Dao Soup. Dao Milk. And they had like a buy three deal. So they're tiny. So I got Hisoko building a card. Um, a little triangle. Card mountain. <laughs> What's that called? Card Castle? Yeah. Card Castle Sakura? Uh, With bungee gum. <laughs> the Leorio doesn't have any beads. Oh no! He didn't have his ball chain. Well, there's Leorio. Um, and then for the third one, we both agreed that this was the cutest one. It is Kite. Oh yeah, you don't see a lot of Kite stuff. That one's so cute! I like that. Does he have a different back than the front? Mm, no. 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 Okay. Uh, Mokaina was also at the Fanime, and I got the Hisoka pin, and she was out of the Leorio pin, so I had to pick up the Leorio pin. Ooh! Nice, Leorio. And from Kiwi Burr. Kiwi Burr. I picked up another Hisoka pin. Ooh. It's slightly different from Kiwi Burr's original Hisoka pin, which is currently up there. Oh, yeah? Um, so the cards that, that you see snaking behind Hisoka were a little bit more spread out. Mm -hmm. um, if you can see it up there. Oh. Cool, cool. 
I do like this one. Um, I mean, it's it's basically the same pin. Oh, no, it's not. It's he's in a different, different pose. And yep. he's in a different outfit. In fact, I'll zoom in on it so you guys can oh, see. Oh, it's very different. Yeah, let's see how good my camera is. There you go. Yeah. It's very different. I thought it was more or less the same. Okay, now I'm happy. <laughs> I feel like it might be in your backpack, though. Your no. Your bag. No? No. I don't put pins in that one. I only put the keychain. Oh. I found th this. Oh, Disney afternoon. So there was a booth that had like floor to ceiling Disney pin boards, um, but also had some loose pins like this. Mm -hmm. um, and this was a deal. This retails for 30 and I got it for way less than 30 Yeah, like 10 bucks or something. It was pretty cheap. Yeah. They had lots of pins. Yeah, I was, I so was many. like a little skeptical of how cheap, cheap it was, but it was like, this is very new. Like, how could it be fake? There was a booth selling um, blind um, figural bag clips. Uh, they were five bucks each or two. You had to buy two to get five bucks each. Mm. So it was 10 bucks if you bought two. I think it was eight bucks if you bought one. Um, and then they had this whole board of ones that were currently open so that you could just trade Ooh. for the one. If you didn't like the one you got in your bag, you could just trade for the one that was on the board. Nice. And so I still didn't get the two fish from this bag and from Rachel from Attainable Disney, I learned that... If it is really flat, it's a dory. Ooh. So I chose the one that was really flat and got a dory. So I knew that I didn't need to trade that one. But I also bought a spy family bag. And I don't have the bag here because they just threw it away from me. Um, but I got, I got the one that I really didn't want. So I traded it. <gasps> For this guy! Henderson! He's so elegant! Elegance! That's his like tagline. That's his tagline. He it's, loves to be elegant. He's he's such a side character, but like he's just memorable. Oh, he's so good. It's very cool. So good. He's he's a scene stealer, I'll yes. say. Scene stealer. And I don't need to buy any more Spy Family keychains because I have the one I want now. Because <laughs> it was on the trade board. And so I was like, well, I'll just open one. And if I don't get him in the bag, I'll just trade it. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. That was all my expo things. But we went to a mall near the expo. And there are a couple of anime stores in it. And we got this little figure of Renji mm. from Bleach. Fringy. Woo! Uh, and it's cool because he's in like a swipe pose with his Zabi Maru. Mm -hmm. which... The way they made it, it makes it look like wispy air, but it's actually like a jagged snake blade. <laughs> yeah, it's a little, it's a little weird. Yeah, that just looks like he's water bending. <laughs> <laughs> but it's really cool pose. It's a cool pose. I don't have it. I love Renji. So there you go. Yeah. Um, so that's the only thing I bought that wasn't at the expo. Um, so, what did you think, everybody? I didn't spend that much money. I mean, the, the biggest thing I spent on was the sweatshirt. Mm -hmm. And, like, everything else was very cheap. That's true. Yeah. Considering all the merch that's out there, it's crazy. Yeah. I didn't go crazy on figures or plushies or uh, anything like that. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below if you went to the Anime Expo. How was your experience? If not, what was your favorite item from the box? From the box? From my haul. And subscribe for more Disney anime and pin content. And I will see you on the flip side.